Alright, my name's Chris, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about WordPress plugins. We're going to talk about what they are, kind of get to know and understand them, and I'm going to show you how to find them, install them, and use them on your website. So, as a general overview, a WordPress plugin is a little packet of code that you add on or plug into your website to give you more functionality in some kind of area or even additional design in some kind of way. So there's really thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of free plugins out there. There's also premium plugins that you pay for for more advanced things like, um, for example, I like to use a premium uh, plugin that helps me create great looking responsive opt-in forms on my websites called Hybrid Connect. But there's a lot of great pretty complex, complicated, useful, free plugins as well. Not Plugins aren't all complicated to use. Um, some of them have a lot of features and elements. But the main thing is if you're trying to do something with your website and you can't get WordPress to do it or you just can't see how you can make it happen, there's probably a plugin for that. So to get familiar with plugins, just do a Google search for WordPress plugins and you'll land here. Click on this and this is wordpress.org plugins and you can see there's over 27,000 plugins right now and that's a lot and really there's just a plugin for so many different things but I'm gonna illustrate how they work by showing you how to put a contact form on your website using the contact form 7 plugin so let's do a search for that And you can see it's right here. We can click on it. We can look at it. You know, you can read about exactly what it does, where you can even get support. Even though it's a free plugin, a lot of these authors uh, who create these plugins are very proud of it and they're there to help. And perhaps they have like a premium version if you, you need even more functionality that they sell. So you can often get good support and you know, if you're having trouble with a plugin and figure out whatever you need to for free. One of the key things when evaluating a free WordPress plugin is to look over here at the number of downloads. The Contact Form 7 plugin has had over 13 million downloads, which is quite a lot, uh, meaning it's probably working pretty well and people like it. And also you can see that it was last updated, uh, according to this, just three days ago from today. So I know that the plugin developer is keeping the plugin nice and up to date and current on code quality and you can see it's also compatible up to 3.6.1 which is the current version of WordPress so just by seeing that I know this plugin is going to work well for me and you even get installation instructions here uh, frequently asked questions and I like to look at these screenshots so I can see you know what I get when I get this plugin and this one this particular screenshot isn't showing me what the contact form 7 uh, the forms actually look at look like it's more showing me the back end of how I set them up and that's cool so don't be surprised if you look at these screenshots and you don't see exactly what you were looking for uh, they might just the developer might just be showing you sort of the back end interface instead of the you know actually what it creates and that's okay. So I can download this plugin and then upload it, but I'm going to show you a much easier way to get your plugins, install, activate, and start using them. So I'm going to go over to this WordPress install here, and I'm going to click on plugins, and we can see some of the default plugins that come with WordPress. I encourage you when you have some time to check out the Jetpack plugin. Just do a Google search and start learning about it. It does a lot of wonderful things. Um, this Akismet plugin comes default with WordPress, and that's your anti-spam plugin. So go ahead and activate that one and follow the instructions. And this Hello Dolly one, you actually don't need, so you can just delete that. If you uh, just click the delete button it's going to ask you for a confirmation yes delete these files and it's gone 
So, but we want to add a new plugin. We want to add that contact seven or contact form seven plugin we saw over here. So let's go to plugins, add new, and use this search function here. Contact form seven. And we can see it right here. We click install now. Confirm. And we're going to go ahead and activate that plugin. And keep your eye over here. You can see a new little uh, dashboard menu item popped up here called contact. So you can get there from there or you can get there from here. Settings. And so you can see this contact new menu item is highlighted and it looks like we have a short code here that we can use but let's go inside of the plugin a little bit and see what this contact form looks like so this is going to create uh, a form where someone can fill out so that and they can send me an email without having to you know publicly list my email address and expose it to spam and you can also collect a lot more information from your form by using this stuff. I'm not going to get into how to create radio buttons and check boxes and everything, but I'm just going to go with this basic form that they've installed. I'm going to confirm that when someone uses the form that it's going to get emailed to my email address for my web design business. And because I've used this plugin many times, I know exactly how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this short code and paste it onto a web page inside my WordPress. And you can see the instructions right there. Copy this code and paste it into your post or page. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my website here. And here's my w basic website. And I'm going to head on over to this sample page here that I haven't done anything with but I want to replace this text with a contact form so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on edit page and I'm going to delete this text drop in this short code which looks like this and I'm going to hit update and now when I click on view page you can see I have a nice looking contact form over here that if somebody fills this out and uh, you know presses send it's going to send me an email and I can choose to respond to them. So that is the contact form 7 plugin in action. There's really plugins for everything you could possibly think of and more so I would encourage you to just play around on the wordpress.org website and you know do some searches look for different types of plugins that you know may be able to do whatever you want and see what you can find also as part of the online business challenge there's a set of plugins that we recommend for every single website so you'll want to get familiar with those and install activate them play with the settings learn how to use them and that's how you install activate and work with plugins